Hi there. How are you doing? My name is David Griffiths, and today, in this episode of my vlog, I want to talk to you about making the most of what you have. So something came in the mail today. A box. As many of you may know, I am the singing photographer. David Griffiths, the singing photographer. I have a master's in vocal performance from Peabody Conservatory, and I love to sing. However, in latter years, I have been playing the piano more, and more recently, I've been playing the piano on TikTok. I've been playing hymns by request, and that's been a great blessing. In the last six months, I've grown to 93,000 followers. But you know, the thing that I want to share with you that I'm learning in my journey is always make the most of what you have. Use what you have and serve those who are closest around you. You know, I've never felt like what you do is not important and then one day you're going to do something great and that great thing will involve famous people. Have you ever wondered, well, isn't it great to serve the unfamous people like right in your house or next door? You see, I think we watch a lot of advertising and stuff and the advertising suggests to us that we need to buy more stuff to be happy and we need to be with the in crowd to be cool. We need to hang out with famous people and uh, I think after a while that message gets old. I don't need to hang out with famous people. Most of them uh, have a lot of stuff on their mind and if I entered their life perhaps it wouldn't make much of a difference to them because they have so much going on in their lives. <laughs> and if I became a famous person, I would still treasure those special people who are closest to me, who I can trust. And it's not that I wouldn't want other people in my life, it's just that um, in order for me to be a good steward, I would have to treasure that which God gave me first and make sure I don't get lost in the pursuit of more. So here I have something more. I have a cool photography modifier thing with Jiggy. A Godox. Let's see, what is this? It says Godox. A Godox one, well, it's like a, a one by four box. So these are really cool when you're taking pictures and you need some fill light coming from below. You can have, have this nice box here. And so you have, you know, maybe something like this. Um, a nice little beauty dish, portable beauty dish that's bringing the main light, but you need some fill light. You can use a reflector. They have a couple of those, but then sometimes it's nice to have another light shining up from the bottom side just to fill in the shadows. I was taking portraits when I didn't have any of these things. And I must say, when I look back at them, some of them were pretty cool. If I waited until I could afford to get these things, I would have never grown as a photographer. When I had a recording studio, of course, when you go to the store, they encourage you to get the latest and greatest. Oh, you need to get uh, this microphone, because this microphone has greater detail. Oh, you need to get this plug-in, because this plug-in, oh, the, the, the EQ on this plug-in is based on a $6,000 device, and you really need to get this one. It took me a few years, but I started realizing that there's always going to be something newer, something better, that's more expensive. That's the way that people justify getting you to buy more and more stuff. But your happiness is not based upon you getting more stuff. 
the Bible talks about being content. I've learned to be content. The pursuit of getting more stuff or waiting till you get more stuff to feel like you'll be effective or that you'll be important or valuable, that is something that I want to encourage you to avoid. Because I wasted a large part of my life waiting for things. When in fact, all God required of me is to use what I had where I was. And that's all he requires of you today. Be a blessing where you are. Serve the people where you are. And what I've seen is that the more you do that, the more opportunities to serve will come. So, I'm going to try this out in the next video. But for now, I wanted to share with you, because I love sharing, I wanted to share with you some of the pictures I've been editing. This one that's up on the screen right now. I'm really proud of because God brought into my life a very special person who wanted to have voice lessons. Her name's Moya. And Miss Moya um, came over for voice lessons. And at the time, it wasn't in her budget to do it regularly, but I gave her a complimentary free voice lesson. And God's Spirit just spoke into my heart um, to connect with her. And she ended up being such a blessing in my life because she was able to watch my daughter when I first started teaching in Howard County, where I'm teaching now. And she was able to help take care of my stepfather when he got dementia. And so this picture is special to me because She's someone who the Holy Spirit encouraged me to connect with. And she, I thought I was doing her a favor, but in fact, she ended up being so much more of a blessing in my life than even the blessing that I think that I was trying to be to her. Sometimes we think that God has one purpose for something when in fact the purpose is even greater, but what it looks like at the beginning is something small. That's great. Big blessings often start or come in small packages. And the second picture is a picture of one of her daughters. And I admire the fact that she is artistic and she can draw. I love drawing, but it's not really my gift. I do it for fun, but I always admire those who can like draw straight lines or draw things that um, look like real life. Uh, I went to school with a girl named um, Sherry Freeman and she was just really good. Like she made, I have somewhere, I don't think I can find it for this video, but these cartoon-like things, like she drew a cartoon drawing of me and we were in high school. I'm like, wow, you're just amazing. I thought, this is such a great gift. <sighs> What would happen if we all waited until we got another gift that we admired to actually do anything? The world would become a really lousy place, right? If I wanted to wait until I could sing like Aretha Franklin, well, there'd be a lot of weddings, funerals, church services that uh, would be lacking because I was waiting. So today, God has stuff for you to do. And you need to stop waiting and go do it by first appreciating the fact that what you have matters. Who you are is important. Your gifts are okay by themselves today. God will take our little and make it much if we simply trust him and place it in his hands. So don't be like the unfaithful servant who hid what they had. Or don't be looking afar off waiting for some special thing. Instead, realize you are the special thing. You have the special gift. It's just that you have to step out in faith and use it to make things better for others. 
So I want you in the comments to tell me something. Tell me, what is it that you would love to do, but you've been afraid to try for whatever reason? What is it that you'd love to do, but you've been afraid to try? I would love to hear. For me, for a long time, it was photography. And now you see this studio here is a miracle. It's an answer to prayer. And it began with me just being faithful with what I had. And God blessed it and multiplied it and has made it become something so beautiful, far beyond what I could have imagined when I began. So I look forward to talking with you in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But come hang out 8 p.m. every evening except for Wednesdays. I am playing hymns by request on TikTok at David Griffiths 07. We have a great time. Um, I just heard a response from someone that they had an answer to prayer. Uh, I prayed with them. And I'm just excited because this community of people who listen to hymns and, and pray for each other, we're just seeing God move in miraculous ways. And so I want you to come hang out with us. My morning worship family from uh, Facebook, thank you. I will see you this weekend. And I am looking forward to God doing miraculous things in our lives as we start to believe that what we have is enough for God to use for his glory. All right, as always, I love you, God loves you more, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. All right, let me go to bed because it's late. Bye.